the very first hydropower energy project in the Solomon Islands. It is the first public-private partnership project. The projects that changed the lives of the people of the Solomon Islands. Tina Hydropower Plant. The Solomon Islands, located in the South Pacific, northeast of Australia, consist of over 900 islands. The people of the Solomon Islands, with a population of 700,000, are facing difficulties due to high prices and a lack of job opportunities. Above all, high energy costs are the most urgent social issue that the Solomon Islands must resolve. For some people, they cannot afford uh, electricity. Like it's way up, more expensive. So, so like for me, if I buy fifty dollar of uh, electricity, it will last for me for almost two days or one and a half day, like that. Schools also suffer from a lack of electricity. Electricity for this well school has been situated low. Uh, urban area, we have a computer lab here, we have a photocopying machine, we have printers where we need them, uh, electricity. More than 90% of electricity production is from diesel generators in the Solomon Islands. That is why the people of the Solomon Islands have to pay high electricity bills. Therefore, many people do not have access to electricity in the Solomon Islands. Schools, hospitals, during the day or night, electricity is lacking everywhere. So Solomon Islands is, is, is an archipelago and it has islands all over the place that makes up the country. Uh, one of the challenges that we face in the energy sector is, is to link all these islands uh, uh, by way of uh, expanding our energy access strategy. Tina River, a total area of 150 square kilometers, is located 23 kilometers southeast of Honiara, the capital of the Solomon Islands. The main dam construction begins with the initiation of water diversion through the diversion box culvert installation. Once the diversion is completed, foundational work and construction of the roller compacted concrete dam will commence in earnest between the upstream coffer dam and the downstream coffer dam. The RCC dam construction method is particularly effective for the climate conditions and dam stability requirements in the Solomon Islands. Once the RCC dam is completed, impounding will begin. Through the intake located on the left bank, river water will be directed to the powerhouse for power generation. The river water passing through the intake flows toward the powerhouse via the head race tunnel. The tunnel is 3.22 kilometers long with a diameter of 3.8 meters. Tunnel excavation is carried out using the tunnel boring machine method. The tunnel boring machine method excavates tunnels using a rotating cutter head, which also installs concrete segments automatically within the tunnel. This method is highly effective in ensuring ground stability, making it suitable for a variety of geological conditions and thus widely used worldwide as an advanced tunneling technique. The water from the dam flows through the head race tunnel to the 15 megawatt powerhouse, equipped with three Francis type turbines, each with five megawatt capacity. The electricity generated at this powerhouse is transmitted via power lines to Seoul Power substation, ensuring a stable supply of power to the people of the Solomon Islands. When the Tina project is completed, it is expected to generate 70 to 80 gigawatt hours of electricity annually 
and it will be able to meet more than 70% of electricity in Honiara, the capital of the Solomon Islands. The main feature is that electricity rates will be significantly lower than they are now, and the project creates jobs and promotes the private sector. It can be a means of economic stimulus. Solomon Tina Surak Baljan Sahab is the current electricity rate is 21%. 댐과 발전소 진입을 위한 진입도 공사를 완료하고 유수 전환을 위한 공사를 시행 중에 있습니다. Korea Water Resources Corporation, K Water, which is successfully leading this project, is a global dam power generation company with proven excellent infrastructure and technology. K Water carried out 108 water management projects in 34 countries as well as Korea. It currently carries out 37 projects in 16 countries. The decisive reason for the potential success of the Tina River project is K Water's expertise. Korea Water Resources has taken the challenge, have accepted the challenge of coming to Solomon Islands, working, you know, in a new country. Uh, because they have confidence in Solomon Islands government and, and they have confidence in themselves, they have confidence in the Korean government, they have confidence in Solomon Islands government that this project can be delivered successfully to the benefit of the people of Solomon Islands. Electricity is one of the most pressing social and economic challenges facing Solomon Islands. Tackling this problem now will have knock-on effects for the future on health, on education, on economic and business opportunities. We believe that the Tina River Hydropower Project is an investment in the future and that the benefits from the project will have impacts beyond the time frame of the project lifetime. The Tina River Hydropower Plant is designed to reduce the Solomon Islands overseas energy dependency and foster self-sustaining ability. It has significant meaning in supporting the Solomon Islands with various international organizations' cooperation.